Well, hi guys. Um, I've got a C3 here, with which is hooked up to a 147, and it seems to have a bit of a percussion issue. Um, not the bell in the background. That's just my daughter. Um, okay, I'm on the B preset. Uh, all the B drawbars on top manual are in, and percussion is on. Set to third, normal and or sorry, soft and fast, and it's not decaying. As it should do, just to go to normal in a second. So I'm thinking it's probably the zinc hair, dendrite, something is shorted out either in the percussion switches um, or maybe at the terminal K in the preamp. Um, the 64s are good. Um, so what I'm going to do is a basically a, a trick which I was um, told about on Facebook Hammond Tech page which is basically to zap the um, to zap the percussion box but you can do this by connecting two 9 volt batteries in series and um, connecting them up in a way which I'm just gonna try out now and see if it actually fixes the problem um, it seems to be a recurring problem. A lot of people are having this problem, so this might be a safe and quick fix. Um, let's try it and see if it works. I'm going to video it as I go. Um, so hopefully the next little clip will show the procedure and the results. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm at the back of the organ now with the back off. Um, I've unplugged from mains. I have a couple of 9 volt batteries set up here. One end, the negative side, is connected to chassis. There you see it there, via a um, alligator lead. Um, they're connected then in series, and the plus side is coming out to a probe. Um, actually, it doesn't really matter which end you use, as far as I know. Now, the relevant um, terminal, the wires which need to be zapped in this case are at the back of the organ to the left of the preset just above where the base pedal um, mixing transformer is so I'm going to just try and get in there it's the, the leads here, the white, the green and the yellow so what we need to do is basically touch the end of this lead and basically give it um, 18 volts on each of those three wires which is connected to the per percussion system um, as for the organ itself uh, we set the the B preset push all the, the B draw bars in and we will be switching the percussion switches as we go so first of all I'm gonna hit it zap it in this position then I'm going to switch the percussion on repeat the process um, and go through each switch and hopefully that will fix the problem so let's see what happens okay so the first one is the white one so just hold up there that's now there you go. so little there's the yellow sorry green I mean and the yellow Okay, should be enough for that. Switch percussion on. Repeat the procedure. Hopefully, if, if it is in fact a problem with zinc hairs, this the 18 volts flowing through will actually burn off the hairs. Okay, so I've done that. Switch from next soft to normal. Repeat again. Let's try this here. White, green, yellow. Back up and switch. Fast to slow. In again with 18 volts. 
white bit of spark there. That's I don't know if that's a good thing. We'll find out soon. And yellow. So it's definitely closing the circuit, so maybe it'll have some effect. And lastly, the harmonic switch from third to second and repeat again. So here we go. White, green, and yellow. Now with a bit of luck, that will have repaired the problem, at least temporarily anyway. Um, the correct procedure would actually be to take out the percussion box and clean inside and maybe even clear coat it to avoid forever zinc, zinc hair issues. Okay, so we're going to fire this up and see what happens. Okay, so moment of truth here. We're going to switch back on. I'm on the B preset. All B draw bars are in. Percussion is on. Um, so it should decay normally this time. Let's just see here what happens if I press. Ah, that sounds good. Yep. Nice and clear. Sounds good. I think we fixed it. Yeah. So that's it, a percussion fix. I guess at some stage I'll probably just um, do a cleanup of the actual switches uh, because it will probably come back at some stage. Okay, that's it, I'm out. Bye.